ICE station, a tool for terror? Believe it or not, authorities say ISIS terrorists are using the popular game console to communicate with each other in a way that can't be monitored by national security. How scary is this? It's extremely scary. Cybersecurity expert Michael Hoos showed me how it works. I'm in the Inside Edition office playing a game on a PlayStation 4 connected to the internet. Producer Allison Hall is on another PlayStation. She's in another office here in the newsroom, but she could just as easily be on the other side of the world. You have to be invited to participate in the game, which will enable the audio and the text message to go back and forth. Now Allison and I can chat. Allison, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, Annie. And send each other text messages. And there you go, there's the message. You can hit the middle button right there. And so Allison writes hi. She could write anything, though, right there. Correct. Mike, how is this different than text messages, than phone calls, and why do the terrorists want to use this? It's actually a closed network, so it's kind of outside of what everyone is using for communication. There's no way to monitor PlayStation, right? Not really. It's very hard. A spokesperson for Sony, which makes the PlayStation, says, we are dedicated to checking behavior, and we urge our users and partners to report activities that may be offensive, suspicious, or illegal. PlayStation terror a grim development in the war on ISIS.